Okay, I have downloaded cumulative update 3 for SQL 2012 service pack 1. Uh, now let's upgrade SQL Server uh, software. When you are applying the SQL Server patch, either cumulative update or service pack 1, better to apply it on passive server first and do a failover and apply the patch on the new passive server. Okay, uh, so in this case, uh, I have installed SQL Server on node 1 and node 2. Okay, so we have uh, the SQL Server installed on two nodes. It's a, it's a, right now the two nodes are clustered, but we still have one more node. We didn't install SQL Server on that node yet. So that's fine. Um, we can have the three nodes in the cluster, but uh, you can have any number of nodes that are participating in a SQL cluster. Okay, you cannot fail over the SQL Server resource group to the node three because it's not going to work. There is no SQL Server service there. Okay, so right now the node one we are in node 1. The act 2 node is node 2. So, node 1 is passive now. Now, let's uh, run the patch on the passive node which is node 1. That means it, it will upgrade or update the SQL Server software on this server which is node 1 server. Then after that we do a failover from node 2 to node 1 and update the uh, software on node 2 and we can do one more failover back to node 2 to make sure everything is working fine. Okay, select the license terms. Here you can see if it is not installed that means it is upgradable. Alright, uh, everything is selected, but you can unselect it if you want. But okay, click next. It will check if any files are there open uh, upon running. Uh, it will suggest to stop it. But we know that SQL Server Services is not running on this passive node. So basically, it should not complain anything the anything that the services are up and running you know all right uh, the check is completed it says that uh, there are no files uh, which are up and running otherwise uh, you know uh, if the sql server services or wmi anything any service or any file is open it will say go ahead and stop that file uh, stop that process and uh, refresh the check again so in our case uh, uh, we are fine there are no files in use we don't need any reboots Let's uh, update the SQL Server with CU3. It will take some time. I will pause the video here and I will resume after the uh, installation. Okay, uh, we have upgraded uh, SQL Server on Node 1 with uh, CU3, Cumulative Update 3. Okay, let's close that. Let's go back to node 2 and the version currently we have on node 2 is 3.1.2.8. So CU3 will have a greater number on node 1. Let's do a failover and check the CU3 upgrade. Currently the owner is node 2. I am moving the cluster resource group from node 2 to node 1. It will stop the services on node 2 and it will bring the services on node 1. Alright, uh, we have the, the services up and running on node 1. Uh, right now the node 1 is active. Let's check the SQL Server version on node 1. Now you can see 3349. In the node 2, it is 3128. Okay, so we upgraded the SQL Server on this server. Similarly, we have to now node 2 is passive. Now we have to go and update the SQL Server on node 2, which is passive server. 
so in order to do that now let's update the sql server on node 2 Okay, click next here. Accept the license term. Uh, here we can click next because uh, the services anyway will be stopped here. Let's go ahead and update node 2. It will take some time. I will pass the video here and I will resume after the installation. Okay, now the service is up and running on node 2. Let's go to node 2 and check the SQL Server build number. Here 3349 is CU3 and, uh, and as you can see here it is 3349 on node 2 as well. So we successfully upgraded uh, the SQL Server on both nodes with CU3.